Severation oil and gas industry, severator configurations, severators may be horizontal or vertical. A comparison between horizontal and vertical separators will be presented later in this presentation. Where advantages and disadvantages of each configuration will be discussed. Separators may be classified as two-phase separators, in which the separator is designed to separate gases from liquid and liquid from gases. The two phases in this case are gas and liquid. Or separators can go further to separate water from oil and water and oil from water. In the last case, separators are called three-phase separators. The three phases are gas, oil, and water. Separation whether two or three-phase separation is achieved by one or more of the following techniques. Gravity separation, which depends on the density difference between phases. Coalescence, which depends on the growth of droplets caused by the collision of the small droplets at the surface of a metal, or growth after collision of small droplets in an electrical field. Centrifugal force, which accelerates the gravity separation. Impingement, which depends on the separation caused by a collision of phases with a plate or a deflector. The most important technique in separation is gravity separation, which depends on the difference in density between the phases to be separated, as follows. Crude oil is a complex mixture of hydrocarbon. Its density is usually about 40 to 55 pounds per cubic foot, which is 0.65 to 0.9 kilogram per liter. While produced water usually has density about 65 pounds per cubic foot, which is about 1.05 kilogram per liter. Density of gases is strongly changes due to temperature and pressure. For example, volume of one cubic feet of gas at 60 degree Fahrenheit, 15 degree Celsius, and pressure 35 psig, 2.5 bar g is about 0.3 and its density is about 0.2 pounds per cubic foot which is 3.5 kilogram per cubic meter while at the same temperature and pressure 100 psig 7 bar g the gas volume is reduced to 0.1 cubic foot and the density is increased to 0.6 pounds per cubic foot which is 9 kilogram per cubic meter Further increase in, pr in pressure to 500 psig, 33 bar g, will lead to more reduction in gas volume to reach 0.02 cubic foot, and the density will be 3 pounds per cubic foot, which is 46 kilogram per cubic meter. Whatever the increase in gas pressure, still there is a, a big difference in density between gases compared to oil or water. Well, we can notice also that the difference in density between oil and water is less than the difference in density between gases and any of the produced liquids. The targets of the two-phase separation are to remove liquid droplets from gas and to remove gas bubbles from liquids. The liquid droplets entrained in gas stream must fall down to the liquid surface. It will take less than five seconds in small diameter separators at low pressure and up to 15 seconds in case of high diameter separators at high pressure. The gas stream has to stay in the separator a resident time more than the time required for liquid droplets to fall. Calculation of the time required for uh, droplet separation are usually based on 100 to 150 micron droplet diameter. Larger droplets fall down faster, hence consumes less time to reach the liquid level. The only restriction for the liquid droplets while falling down is the viscosity of the gas, which is of a low value and will not make a remarkable effect on the droplet velocity. For the gas bubble entrained in the liquid stream, due to the density difference, the gas bubble will ascend leaving the liquid zone to the gas area. Due to the viscosity of the surrounding liquid, the gas bubble will take much more time to ascend than the time required for the liquid droplets to fall down. The gas bubble may need up to 4 minutes to ascend and leave the liquid surface depending on the viscosity of the liquid. Therefore, liquid residence time in two-phase separator usually ranges from one minute for light crude oil, low viscous, 
to about 4 minutes for high viscous crude oil, low EBI. In horizontal separators, gravitational force is perpendicular to the drag force caused by fluid movement. The following direction of the droplet will be in an angle between gravitational force and drag force. Also, the ascending direction of the gas bubble will be in an angle between drag force caused by liquid movement and buoyancy or gravitational force. In vertical two-phase separators, the same concept is applied as in horizontal separators. The only difference is that the flow of gas stream and the drag force caused by gas flow is in the opposite direction of the gravitational force or the falling path of the liquid droplet. Hence, there is a limit for speed for the gas flow flowing upward to allow liquid droplet separation by gravity force. In other words, the drag force caused by gas movement must be less than the gravity force downward for separation to occur. Therefore, in a vertical separator design, there is a minimum diameter used for each calculation. A bigger diameter increases flow area, hence reduce flow velocity, consequently reduce the drag force. The same concept is applied for gas bubbles ascending in liquid stream, which is affected by drag force caused by liquid movement downward. Let's remember that this is not the same in horizontal separator because the drag force is perpendicular to the falling direction, not opposite to it. For three-phase separation, in addition to removal of liquid droplets from gas and removal of gas bubbles from liquid, as in two-phase separation, it is also designed to remove water from oil and oil from water. Removing liquid from gas stream will consume 5 to 15 seconds as in, in two phase separation. Removing gas bubble from liquid stream will consume from 1 to 4 minutes as in two phase separation. The difficulty or the critical path is to remove water from oil where it will consume from 20 to 30 minutes depending on the oil viscosity and the density of the oil, EBI degree. The more the difference in densities between oil and water, the faster the separation will be. In vertical three-phase separators, the same concept for horizontal three-phase separation is applied, except we have to consider the maximum flow velocity or the minimum diameter required, as we mentioned in the two-phase vertical separator. Gravity separation depends on the difference in density between phases. For example, at 100 BSIG, the density of the three phases are as follows. Water, 65 oil 50, gas 0.6 pound per cubic foot. Therefore, it is much easier and faster to separate gas from liquid than to separate water from oil. Gravity separation also depends on the viscosity of the continuous phase. For example, to separate gas trapped in a liquid phase, the gas bubble has to move upward through the phase cast liquid. While separation of liquid from gas phase is much easier and faster since the viscosity of the gas phase will not restrict the dropping of liquid droplet downward. According to Stokes law and similar equations used in gravity separation, velocity of separated droplet is directly proportional to the density difference and is indirectly proportional to the diameter of the droplet or the bubble and indirectly proportional to the viscosity of the continuous phase in which the droplet or the bubble will move through. Therefore, we can conclude that increase the density difference will enhance separation. Example, gas is easily separated from liquid it is e and it is easier to separate water from light crude oil than from heavy, heavy crude oil with a low EBI to viscous crude oil is harder in water separation three small droplet size are harder to be separated four increasing temperature will reduce viscosity and therefore enhance separation five three phase separator size is bigger than two phase separators for the same liquid fluid because an oil room is added and the more residence or retention time will need to separate water from oil. 6. Reducing the separator operating pressure will increase the gas volume, consequently reduce the retention time of the gas inside the separator. 7. 
separators working at high pressure will retreat more gas than the same size at low pressure due to the reduction in gas volume. Time required for gravity separation The required time to separate 150 micron droplets of liquid entrained in the gas phase is less than 15 seconds at 1000 psi g large diameter separator and less than 5 seconds at 100 psi g small separators Therefore, the residence or retention time of gas in separators must be more than the time required for separation process. Liquid requires residence time to separate a bubble of 150 micron gas from liquid phase is ranging from 1 to 4 minutes depending on temperature and the viscosity of liquids. Liquid residence time to separate water from oil is usually 20 to 30 minutes depending on the oil density, temperature and viscosity. For the above residence time consideration ABI 12J presented tables for recommended retention time in separators as we can see liquid retention time ranges from 1 to 4 minutes to separate gas from liquid and to separate free water from oil retention time extended to 30 minutes Remarks All separated water are the free water existing not emulsified water which require more treatment through heating or electrostatic heating or desalting. Two, sizing of separator usually is based on 20 to 30 minutes liquid residence time for three phase separators and about one to four minutes for two phase separators. Additional residence time in separator will not be effective in reducing the water content in oil because after 20 to 30 minutes an equilibrium is reached and the faster water separation will not be achieved as it is clear from the graph in the beginning separation rate of free water from oil is very high then the rate is decreased with time till reaching an equilibrium after about 30 minutes where more residence time will result in a very small increase in separated water faster processing is required for oil and gas processing to achieve the required crude oil specs. A heater treater usually exists downstream the separator to heat the emulsion hence reducing the crude oil viscosity and allow more water separation. Then fresh or low salinity water usually added to the crude oil wash water and the crude oil is pumped to a desalting vessel which separates the small water droplets by applying an electrical field. Electrical voltage affects the water droplets and the help in coalescing droplets together to enhance separation. Farser gas treatment may be required which include acid gas treatment which is known as gas sweetening, dehydration of natural gas, condensate recovery. In the previous session we explained the necessity of separation in oil and gas field, separator types horizontal and vertical, separator's function for two and three phase separator, retention time required to separate each phase. In the case we are going to talk about separator's internal components.